strange. 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 Wine. And it's time for Strange Wines with host Tom Cap for Strange Brew Podcast. And this is Juan from the One on One Podcast. Let's get strange. It's Juan. It's Juan. Yeah, I love how long ago that was, bro. That <laughs> fucking you're like all preppy and like. Yeah, this is Tomcat from the uh, Strange Brew, <laughs> and I'm just like, this is Juan. <laughs> yeah, and it's I got that one of those voices is Chris Tucker. I think <laughs> it's Juan. <laughs> Welcome to the Strange Wands, uh, Strange Brew podcast. Uh, our little our series that is is lasted for a long time and it will last forever. Uh, Strange Wands. Uh, I'm one of your hosts, Tomcat, aka Tom Thompson. And who else do we have in uh, in this in this place to be? It's that goddamn cat. <laughs> Are you a cat now? Meow meow. It's Juan from the One on One podcast. What's up, bitch? Uh, I got. I called some, you a bitch in a long time, bro. I know. I got some vodka mixed with kombucha. It's still fucking 442, bro, and you're yeah. already drinking. This is crazy. It's it's vodka with kombucha, just one. So I got a brew on top of a brew because technically kombucha is a brew and vodka is liquor. Have you ever, do you need an intervention, bro? Like, have you seen that show before? One day, maybe a couple years ago. Now I'm a little better. Um, if somebody needs an intervention, it's probably Billy. He drinks like too much. Like he ever does it or what? Fuck. Yeah. That guy, he like every night he's drinking beers. He also works long hours is out all day and then he he drinks quite a bit i've heard some stories and i've seen some things damn bro about to get kicked off the podcast for drinking too much well uh no if you would just he would get he's gonna get kicked off if he doesn't uh pull up his pants stop working so fucking much uh because it's hard to fit him in and uh a lot of it's just me not wanting to travel the the 30 40 minutes it takes to get to his place because he doesn't come here ever so it's just lugging all the equipment all the mics all the shit to his place getting it all set up for a couple hours and then fuck you billy yeah literally that's so that's- uh you will still hear billy so don't worry he's gonna still be on this podcast it's just not gonna be as often and according to the fans anton is a great fill in fuck he likes anton to fill too. it in he's a cook. yeah so uh we're bringing it back a little bit to the roots the, the roots of strange brew uh, we're going to talk about some unsolved and unexplained mysteries. We're Yo, talking do, about mysteries, bro. Why do Canadians talk so stupid, bro? Uh, because we're always stoned is my excuse. <laughs> Man, I can't wait for Florida to pass recreational. Like, th- that's the only thing wrong with this state, dude. Like, everything yeah, else is perfect. If, if we I just don't just... know why federally you guys just don't legalize it. Canada's done it, and... We done okay. Trudeau's like, oh yeah, I'll make all this money and all this shit. And meanwhile, it's not. And like, if they would have done it right, there could have been. There is more jobs to an extent, but not that much. And yeah. if they did it right, we could have made a shitload off of you know producing it and sending it to other countries and all that shit if it was legalized there. So all stuff like that, but. You know, everything Trudeau has done since he's been in office is nothing but fuck up this country. So I just want to I just want to point out how much I fucking hate this mic stand. I'm still like this is like the third or fourth podcast I do with it. And it is horrendous, man. Jesus. Yeah. And I'm going on Mensa this week, which will be oh, out, nice, dude. Finally going oh, on. Yeah. Mensa. Shout out to Chris from Mensa podcast. That's my fucking boy. Yeah. So we got me finally on. So I'm scheduled uh for this thursday so uh when this comes out i'm guessing it'll already be out because me and juan like to stay ahead we're not doing what we did last time we recorded the night before we were supposed to fucking air so (laughs) don't fuck it up bro no question look how flimsy this shit is dude look at this you need to get a better one this one's cheap as fuck and i got this this is like a hundred dollars man what the fuck you wasted your money yeah whatever anyway get ready for it to get strange as we drink and discuss unexplained mysteries while I, while I drink uh america has only been around for a little over 200 years but in that short time it's built up considerably a lot of spooky phenomenon phenomenon uh and mysterious events did you yep. know that the illuminati was was founded around 1776 yeah, I knew that. I did a whole episode about the Illuminati. Crazy, bro. <laughs> Weird, man. Coincidences, and I don't believe in coincidences. Yeah, neither do I. So, 
Also, we had a fan. Um, tell he, they, he shouted us out. He said he's been a fan for a long time. He said the fact that I even responded to him uh, made his day. And um, who? He uh, this guy, a fan. Um, uh, his name's uh, Rihanna. Yeah, I'm terrible with names, buddy. I'm terrible with names. It's Wait, like wh- one of the H-E-N-I. episodes we did. Or? No, he's a fan of the whole show. Oh, and he said that me and you are his favorite hosts. Anton got a little mad when I mentioned that. I'm like, you're still new. They all, they, they got to grow on you. And he's like, I like Billy, but you know, I was trying to watch the Halloween <laughs> episode, and he's like, he, him and his that buddy Alex were talking over you, and he's like, I was just trying to listen to you, and I'm like, yeah, I deal with that a lot, and I send that to Billy the whole conversation, and then Billy's like, <laughs> I was drunk, man. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> Call it strange, it's strange brew for a reason, but I know, yeah. I know. It's so it's just too funny, too funny. And he's like, I to tr- "I'm trying, man. I'm fucking drunk." I'm like, "Stop drinking so heavily. Like he'll just crush the beers." Well, I'm like drinking straight vodka, and I'm fucking more sober than he is. So let's get in the first one. And I don't know if some of these could maybe be dive deeper later on, uh, but I love getting into strange mysteries episodes. Like that's what we start on. If you go back, the very first episode of Strange Podcast is literally called Strange Mysteries. So this is the roots. We at the beginning of this podcast, we would do just all these different subjects essentially in one episode. And then we branched off and did deeper dives into some strange cases. So The Cleveland Torso Murders. In 1934, Cleveland, the surrounding area of Ohio, if people did not know, uh, it was besieged with a series of of all these murders, these vicious murders, identified only by the body parts left behind in their wake. Fucking torsos, bud. There's just like bodies everywhere. Bodies. (laughs) Let the bodies hit the flow. Let the bodies hit the flow. Let the bodies hit the... You know that song? Hey, bud. Hey, bud. Of course, <laughs> yeah, I know that fucking song. Jesus. Uh, by bro. Drowning Pool, and the lead singer literally yes. drowned in his own vomit. Seriously? <laughs> yeah, man. Is that crazy? He's fucking dead? Yeah. The lead, yeah. And then they had some other guy take over. But yeah, fucking the wild. lead singer of Drowning Pool died drowning in a pool of his own vomit, man. So. How strange is that? <laughs> it's very so, ironic. Yeah, it's weird. So the beginning, uh, the beginning that was with the torso of a woman that was washed up on shore of Lake Erie, a four year old wave of fear and body parts spread all over the city, centralized in Kingsbury run, a poor neighborhood where families with nowhere to live set up shanty towns. Oh, shit, bro. They got shanty towns. You know what shanty towns are? No. Shanty towns is where poor people come to live. It's a, it's a place where they literally set up camps. Oh, like California? Some, yeah, almost like, uh, <laughs> I don't know if you can call them gypsies. <laughs> yeah, li- literally, like Skid Row. It is like Skid Row. It's almost like, you know how gypsies just park places? They just pull up and, and they just park. I and mean, have, yeah, that's, that's why they're gypsies. Cause... Yeah, and they have those like little huts and stuff. It's almost like that, but some of these people literally like build like trailers. Like shanty towns, almost yeah. like they're all makeshift houses and stuff. And um, <clears throat> I do have an episode for the Patreon. I'm debating on doing on the real show or the Patreon, but it's all about the underground cities in New York that people, homeless people, literally live underground. What? Yeah, no, I saw that shit, and that's pretty fucking crazy. But you should that doesn't have, surprise me. You should check out this documentary. Oh, it's called uh, "In the Dark" or "Dark City" or something. I remember okay. watching it really I- stoned and really drunk. When I was like in my teens and it fucking tripped the shit out of me because it's all in like black and white. And this guy's like filming in the underground city, like these underground cities, essentially. They're not cities, but they're underground towns with nothing but homeless people just living. And some of them even have electricity and stuff. Did you see the latest news, bro, that they they suspect there's another inner world within our Earth? Of course. Uh, Hollow Earth does exist. I believe yeah. it with my bones, man. Yeah, me too, bro. I think it's fucking... I think it's dope. So all these motherfuckers in this place called Kinsbury Run, a poor, a literally a poor place where like, they literally shut up shanty towns. Good old shanty towns. Uh, after the lady of the lake was discovered, after that lady's torso was discovered in the lake, <laughs> two, Why count them two, castrated men were found. Emasculated, bro. Yeah, that's, that's what they called it, emasculated. Well, it's castrated. Means, they cut off their yeah. fucking testes, bro. Everything. No, dick up. and balls, bro. 
Oh yeah, I guess it is. It is emasculated because castrated is where they just cut off just the, nuts. the balls. Yeah, just just, just, the, just sack. the testes, and uh, followed by the remains of a woman tucked inside of two baskets. Holy fuck! Maybe this, maybe this will be a, a deep dive later on in a year or two because this case is kind of crazy, and I'm sure there's a lot more to it. But we're just talking about mysteries. Short little mysteries. And the body of a tattooed man. Of course, he's like, this guy was tattooed. Clearly tell. There's a tattoo of a shark and an anchor on his on his forearm. He must have been a sailor. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> is that all you're going to say about that fucking case? Oh, uh, no. I got more. All right, so the go tattooed ahead. man who had been drained of all of his blood. That is fucking crazy. Yeah, like, so everything was happening after the fact, and it was done, like, surgically accurate, so the person that was doing this needed to know about anatomy, so... It's Jack the Ripper, bro. Almost, yeah, came, almost like Jack the Ripper Cleveland. type of shit. <laughs> and then, so, in 1938, the police burned Kinsbury Run to the ground in order to flush out the village. Meanwhile, you have probably about, I don't know, I'm just going to make a wild guess, 80 to 200 homeless people crying all hugging each other like there goes everything i worked for the last week <laughs> like they, they burned the whole thing to the ground meanwhile more or less everyone that's not the killer just lost where they live yeah and it's like here come to this overcrowded shelter the homeless problem is a real issue and it's funny that we can afford afford uh to give everybody a shot in the arm with some fucking poisonous chemicals but we can't fucking feed the homeless did you, How ironic. This is the case where they the sheriffs burned down the fucking the they, entire place. They right? burned down the shanties, man. And yeah. then everyone homeless is crying, hugging each other like, That's man, it took up. me fucking three days to knit that fucking curtain. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then literally, so they tried to flush him out. And although they arrested a bricklayer named Frank Dolzo. Yeah, Dolzo. which he didn't, he didn't fucking hang himself, by the way, just like Jeffrey Epstein. It said who later was found hanging in his cell. <laughs> Bro, but the ma the math doesn't add up. The ceiling was like five foot eight and he was five foot seven. So there's <laughs> yeah, so there's no way that he could have hung himself just like he just Jeffrey Epstein. Barely is on his tippy toe. Yeah, bro. Imagine <laughs> imagine they go inside, oh my god, he hung himself. No, I was just sleeping. <laughs> Can you imagine, bro? He's like, oh my god, he's dead. No, I just fucking, I just fell asleep. I was trying to hang myself, but I'm not tall enough. You know, like, <laughs> they, they come in and then it's just like, man, he's got his dick in his head. He's like, I was just masturbating. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, they People say like that shit, dude. Yeah, they say that shit's like a super like head rush, adrenaline like, head rush. Yeah, like when I you knew a chick. I've, I've said this before on the podcast. Pretty sure this chick named I always remember her name Jamie Hornsby. Uh, I've said many shout times, out uh, to Jamie Hornsby, bitch. She's dead. What's up? Um, oh, oh, fuck, my bad. <laughs> so I met her in St. Leonard's, which I've said before is like where angry kids and kids that are bad to their parents go. Like they just like they make you go to classes. Like I went to anger. Um. Fucking, I guess, anger management. And I left after a week. I was like, this ain't teaching me shit. Fuck this stuff. And then, uh, <laughs> but I met this chick and then the stuff where you're supposed to like, you know, the parents are supposed to, you know, meet with the kids and the kids are supposed to meet with the parents and you're supposed to like work things out and like you do it in groups. I met this chick. I find out uh, a year or two later, I used to kind of hang out with her. Uh, she tried to do that old, uh, let's hang myself to get high. And her friend yeah. never showed up. So I, the, I, the story goes is that, her mom found her hanging and then ran and got scissors and she was still alive. And when she came back, she was dead. So her Wait. mom fucked up. Oh, damn. So she didn't, she would have just barely saved her if she would have. Yeah. Just... And uh, yeah, and I met, I, I, I like hung out with her sister and, and, uh, and, um, summer school. And, uh, I got kicked out of summer school. I was the only kid I knew that got kicked out of summer school. Damn, bro. So I feel really bad about that joke. That was, <laughs> That was don't like, feel bad when they're it's dead like one them. time one time is uh, once upon a time a really long time ago there was this chick that was like yeah you know uh while i was talking to her she's like yeah my last boyfriend didn't break up with me and i was like <laughs> well, he fucking killed himself and she was like yeah he committed suicide da, da, da. i'm like sorry i make jokes about like, that all the time but i'm like holy story. fuck that that was that was so bad. So Very the bad funny time. thing is they say that Frank <laughs> hung himself. Uh, the guy they accused of being the killer and why there's all these body parts washing up on shore and and 
cut off dick and balls men. Two men, no balls, no dick. Mm-hmm. It's um, it's got to be a woman, in my opinion, or a gay guy that likes, like Jeffrey Dahmer, that likes, uh, or Ed Gein, likes keeping the parts uh, in a little drawer just beside his bed so he can sniff them later. <laughs> and uh, But he was exonerated in 2010. Funny thing is, he was fucking dead, so you exonerated a dead man. That happens a lot. Uh, by new evidence released by the Kahunga, Kahunga, um, uh, community college, a community college released new evidence, a college where all the rejects go and want to get fast through college. Literally, they found new evidence. The murder stopped after the, the violent police raid, but the killer was never caught. Well, so I feel that the reason that he killed himself just like Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill himself was because I, I feel that maybe they knew that the case was going to go up for, for trial and they were obviously not going to be able to pin it on this fucking guy. No. So dead men tell no tales. Nobody was ever caught. The murders just so happened to stop after the fact. You know what? Yeah. It was probably a cop just being like, you know what? I'm fucking sick of these goddamn homeless people at the goddamn shanty towns. Wasn't there? I, I don't know if it was. It might have been another case. I think maybe it's the case after this where they were writing letters to him. Was that this case? Not that I know of, but I didn't dive deep into this. This is just short little mysteries. But okay, um, well, this could be a case on because it's it is it is kind of fucked up. No, it's these... fucked. It's it's fucked. So, but I don't know if it was this one. A or lady the next was found one. in a fucking basket. Two baskets. Yeah, you know how crazy that is. Yeah, that's fucking wild. So the curse, let's get the next one. The curse of the ring of Rudolph Valentino. Rudolph Valentino <laughs> was a major star in Total Babe of Silent Film Air, who starred in films like The Shriek. Ah! Uh, the and the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. That sounds fun. Yeah. Have you ever uh have you ever watched any silent films or uh watched do you watch any black and white films? Have you ever seen a black and white film, bro? No, but I was going to ask you if you've ever seen some of this guy's work because I haven't. I saw like clips right when I was doing research on it. But yeah, I haven't seen. Um, I've heard of this uh, Rudolph Valentino. I have heard of him um, because of my grandfather. Uh, rest in peace. Um, we argued a lot about the government, but uh, he he showed me a lot of movies and stuff like that. Like um, like horror movies from back in the day. And he's like, they're not like your slasher films that you like watching. Where's just blood and gore and everybody's dying. You have to think. You got to think about it. Cause it's like it's all it's spooky and you never know who's doing it. And it's more about playing tricks with your mind. So he'd show me like the original House on Haunted Hill and and you know I'd watch Three Stooges and and stu- like idiots hitting each other over the head with hammers and. Where are the Three Stooges a cult, bro? Do they have a cult symbolism in there? No. Do, do you not know who the Three Stooges are? Yes, bro? I know who it is, but I'm just asking if you knew something that I don't. Is, is it? Uh, they're uh, anyway? they just did a lot of drugs and stuff or drink or drank a lot. I think that one guy died of a heart attack. It's probably his his diet was not that good. Uh, but yeah, I think my I do thank my grandfather for showing me uh, a bunch of old films, and I have seen uh, what you should watch is um, Nosferatu, the one of the first very first horror movies, a silent film. I've, yeah, I think I've heard about that. It's fucking creepy, bro. It's truly creepy. So when Valentino died due to complications from an appendectomy, <laughs> appendectomy, no. Whatever. And uh, I got one of those. Uh, it's uh, a appen- appendectomy. Ec- appendectomy. Uh, when they cut your appendix out. Yeah. What, I almost died when appendix, I bro? Yeah, I almost died when I was seven from it. Then you told me that. You have no appendix? What does that mean? No, what I never the, told you that, bitch. But what does I've, the appendix do? It's like literally it just it just sits in your intestine and it just sits. It's like it's like a little appendage. It just sits there, bro. It does nothing. <laughs> but when it ruptures. All your oh, shit yeah. gets into your fucking blood system. Oh, you so told me this. You have told me this. No, I haven't, bro. I've never That's... talked about it. You know how weird that is then? That's... How do I know that? How do I remember you saying it ruptured inside of you? And I was like, uh, maybe I did, bro. I don't know. We've gotten fucking stone on this shit a lot of times. <laughs> so. <laughs> so that they said rumors of arsenic and poisoning began to circulate. But another theory, maybe, maybe, maybe the Valentino was cursed. Whoops. Not that one. <laughs> He was cursed. Bro, I hate all your fucking voices. They're so lame. They are. They're supposed to be, man. They're <laughs> supposed to be. So, in 1920, he bought a ring from San Francisco jeweler who told him that everyone who wore the ring 
found nothing but bad luck. Then why sell it, some might ask. Valentino wore the ring on the set of Young Raja, which turned out to be one of his biggest flops ever, I wonder. The ring was cursed. And it kept him off screen for two years because it was such a shitty film, obviously. <laughs> he didn't wear the ring again until a trip to New York where he suffered an acute attack of the appendicitis. And the rest is history. Histories, mysteries. What they don't tell you about this case is that it was a cock ring. It wasn't like a finger ring. It was just a yeah. cock ring. <laughs> I don't even think those existed back then, bro. I'm pretty sure. I, um, never wear one. Those things are I'm, fucking scary. I'm... I don't think I've wore one ever. I would need to. But I got one that was too tight and it's scared the living shit out of me. I, I think I've said this bro. on this podcast. Almost before. castrated yourself, dude. Yeah, my shit went all pale and I'd like rip it off. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> like here's like Tom smacking his dick. Wake up. Wake up, <laughs> god damn it. it. It scared the shit out of me, man. I would never use a cock ring ever again. It's fucking weird. Oh, shit, bro. That's I knew hilarious. a buddy that tried to use a fucking dick pump. And he's like, don't fucking ever touch those things. He's like, I was scared I was going to lose my dick because it got stuck inside. Does that just help you get hard? Is it because no, you can't get hard? Make your dick bigger, but then it makes your dick look fucking gross, I guess, because you, you're pumping. So when people up, put, when they were doing the lip thing, right? The yeah, you're lip like challenge. filling your dick with like fucking air in some stores. You know, Austin Powers has it. Like it's a joke yeah. movie that he has one, but like, I don't know who, I don't know one person other than my friend that just tried it. Cause he's like, fuck it. Why not? Um, I don't know who, anyone who would do that. It's fucking weird. Yeah. It sounds horrendous, bro. So That's in right. 1972, a dog brought home the arm of dismembered Jeanette de Palmia. De Palma. It's that goddamn cat. Dog again. <laughs> a teen, teenage girl who had been missing from Springfield, New Jersey uh, for six weeks. When police investigated the quarry where the arm was discovered, they allegedly stumbled upon a real a ritualistic altar yeah. that had been used in the girl's murder. For decades, residents of the town have done their best to forget the tragedy of the young woman. And multiple anonymous sources allege that she was a victim of a satanic ritual featuring animal carcasses and a series of arrows carved into trees. It's fucking spooky. That's fucking when weird they, shit. I don't know if you heard, but when they got there, there was some Travis Scott playing. Did you hear about the latest Travis Scott concert? I heard it was to man, die for, bro. Satan yeah, literally. <laughs> Satanic shit, man. Eventually. Is it too it was soon? No. No? Not, for Not me. on this I, podcast. I don't right? give a shit. <laughs> Fuck it. So yeah, dude. Speaking of satanic rituals, I just felt like I, I should sprinkle that in there a little bit. I yeah, think it's that fucked was some because this will come out ritual. um in like a week or so yeah, today after is that, a week and a November half. November 9th, 2021. Um, even for, but for the eight people that watch on Twitch, hello. Uh, because we're <laughs> live on Twitch. <laughs> um, but it's just that, you know, that I, I want to get into it on its own. Maybe on a rant episode, we'll, we'll dive deeper yeah, into that sure. because people uh, said that they felt like they were in fucking hell. There was numerous people. I know some people are there to, and they're raving. They're on MDMA, which makes your blood pressure go out the roof. makes you hot. Um, I've, I've tried it. It makes Bro, you We'll save it for sweaty. the next episode. We'll do an, uh, another episode this week and we'll fucking talk about it. We'll do a rant and rant. Yeah. We'll do a live rant. Maybe. Fuck. Fuck you. <laughs> you love your <laughs> lives. So the true story of what happened to Jeanette de uh, Palma, Palma uh, never was known, but writers of uh, more uh, Mark and Mark Mormon and Jesse P. Pollock are trying to change that between 1931 and, oh yeah. So that's fine. There's so some, some directors are trying to essentially make a story about this because obviously this goes a lot deeper. Um, yeah. And that's what I'm saying. These are just short little cases of weird, strange mysteries, and they could branch off to other bigger episodes if we feel like it down the road. But a lot of these, you know, are shorter in general, right? They're just these fucked up cases. Nobody knows what happened. Yeah, that's always freaked me out, dude. Like, especially, and we should do a missing 401 episode because there, there are so many people that go missing. Dude, can you imagine? It's just... No, it's just crazy. Me and... um. Me and dumb fuck Justin, the the kid that used to be on this podcast, we covered that when uh, we we weren't drinking as much because he went fucking crazy. Um, if you're a longtime fan of this podcast, you'll remember Justin. He was he had some some good facts about some things, and most time he was just like drunk out of his mind, laughing at everything. And um, 
So we talked about that. Essentially, we talked about like strange um, disappearances yeah. and it, you know, got a lot of downloads and it's, it's strange, but we did talk about a lot of the 411 and, you know, how many people go missing in parks, which we can mm-hmm. revisit on this yeah. because it's, it goes very deep and That's how one of my favorite things, if you look around all the places that people went missing in these parks, there's caverns into the caves yep. and Cave shit. Systems. It's fucking real weird. The yeah. reptilians are at it again, bro. Coincidence? I think not. Nope. <laughs> so, you want me to go? Sure. You got one like the pop it in the docket, man. So slide that CD in the fucking the fucking case. Let's go. Slide All right, bro. So of course, mine had to be Florida unsolved, creepy Florida unsolved mysteries, right? Yep. Because why not? So. This one is the remains of eight people were found in Fort Myers in March, 2007 authorities discovered the skeletal remains of eight people in a tract of land in Fort Myers, Florida, after a surveyor reported seeing human bones, the bodies lay unburied for possibly eight years or more clustered closely enough to suggest a serial killer on what, what (laughs) we, uh, we talked about this. On uh, we, this, the strange mysteries of Florida, the, the strange murders, whatever the fuck episode was called. Yeah, literally, literally. <laughs> well, we, Brother, so, you know how many episodes we've done, you fuck? I know. I just the Fort Myers, a lot of bodies. That was from the the Florida uh, unsolved Daniel murders. Daniel Conahan. Yes. Remember, oh, we fuck. talked all about that, bro. I don't even fucking remember shit. Yeah, bro. that was the strange uh, unsolved uh, <laughs> murders of Florida. Anyways, that's pretty fucking wild. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. I bro, and I read it to and I was like, oh, we haven't covered this shit. Oh, we definitely did. That wasn't the tree though, right? The tree <laughs> no, wasn't. That's uh good old Gerard Schaefer. Fuck, dude. Damn. I know. That's what I'm saying. Fuck. We we covered that in the unsolved. We did this one though. The two men disappeared after the same officer arrested them. Yes. We did that one. You're probably reading from the website I got that episode from. Fuck you. So <laughs> the Sims family triple murder? Yeah, we talked about that. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, if you go back and you listen to the uh, the Florida murder episode, yes, we uh, definitely. Uh, did. We did the Tammy Lynn one. I know we talked yes. about that, bro. What You're reading from probably the same site that I got it from. Let me fucking get out, bro. I don't have a. I don't have any any cases. Then this is bullshit. Between 1931 <laughs> and 1938, a series of seemingly random murders gripped. Uh, the city with fear, leaving people to wonder if their ideal uh, coastal uh, town had been home to the devil. And this is still about that that chick, because over the course of seven years, at least six women between the ages of 10 and 67, big gap, usually serial killers kind of stick to one thing, were stabbed, strangled, and beaten to death while the San Diego police stood around and scratched their heads. Despite the varying modus of operandi, the police believe these murders to be the work of a killer, although they were never able to pinpoint any suspect. Fucking strange, bro. People get murdered. Seen, have you ever seen the movie The Frozen Ground with Nicolas Cage? No. I think you'd really enjoy that movie. It's about it's about a, a serial killer. Rapist, I pro- I've heard of it, and I probably would watch it. Um, but just remember, I know I know your girl doesn't like Nicolas Cage, she but absolutely hates him. Why? And I don't know. He just, she gives him the, she gives him, she gives her the creeps the same way that Brandon Frazier gives her the creeps. Oh, uh, he's, yeah, he's a hundred, hundred percent certified creep, but <laughs> fucking Nicholas Cage, bro. Nicholas Cage is I fucking know. amazing, dog. In 2009, while looking to purchase a 40 acre plot of land near Red Oak. Okay. Bobby Dale. I don't know why. That, <laughs> oh, it's in Oakland. Um, and then um, Cheryl Lynn. Uh, Leanne, all right, that is a fucking trailer park name if there is ever one. <laughs> Cheryl Lynn, Cleanne. Cheryl Lynn, will you get in here and suck your brother off? He's fucking tired. <laughs> what was it Arkansas or whatever? Yeah, yeah, Arkansas. Fuck you, <laughs> Arkansas. And uh, daughter, uh, Madison Storm. Here's another fucking name, man. Madison Stormy Star Jameson. <laughs> Madison Stormy Star Dave Jameson. What? Who the who the fuck names their kids this shit? Yeah, man? for real. I'm going to name my kid next name kid Joe Rogan. <laughs> yeah. Jerogan? Name him Jerogan. <laughs> <laughs> Just like have a J to Rogan. Jerogan. Um, so, uh, yeah, so it's fucking weird. She disappeared. 
um, which is strange. The the mother and the daughter disappeared a few days after their disappearance. Uh, the abandoned truck was near Kinta, Kinta, uh, I guess uh, Oklahoma, because it's okay. I don't know. I think that would be Oklahoma. Um, and and their malnourished dog was there. Their IDs and GPS system and their thirty two thousand dollars in cash. Um, don't really know why you're carrying that around with you in 2009, but they had thirty-two thousand dollars in cash that was found near this uh, their abandoned truck. He was always ready for a big purchase, bro. That's it's true. It. Several theories about the disappearance were floated that the uh, the disappearance that floated around. All the, the, these weird stories are like hmm, I got I got theories, and it involved everything from a drug deal gone bad to the Jamesons faking their death to a cult. They were they they're joined a cult and they faked their death. I don't know. Bro, if you ever if you were ever in a cult, yeah. would you like knowing what you know, would you know you're in a cult? Like do you yeah, identify cults cults are for gullible people, man. They're for people that don't really have anything else or have anyone. Well, what about if you start your own cult, bro? What if we yeah, start a strange group cult? And I am the focal pin I am the God. I make everyone believe I'm a God, which, you know, I could convince some people. I'd have like five homeless people follow me around, um, but I could do <laughs> it. Schizophrenia. Yeah. Like, Fuck you, Tom. But the thing is, when people join cults, and we're going to dive more into cults on this podcast, like we talk about serial codes and stuff like that. We've t- talked about David Koresh, uh, but we will be getting into a lot more crazy cults down the road for sure. They're just very deep, crazy cases. And it is, it is a lot of times people that, um, don't feel loved. They, they don't feel loved or cared about by people or, you know, or their family or stuff like that. So they find someone, he's like, you know what? I'll love you. I'll love you. And then two weeks later, he's like, suck my cock and let me fuck yeah. your daughter. Yeah. Let like, me fuck your wife. It's always yeah. the leader always ends up fucking somebody. It's true. Um, I don't think David Koresh, in my opinion, fuck the kids. I think that was a ploy for the FBI to blame something on him so they could, because he had guns, so they were scared of him that he had all these guns in Waco, Texas. And, you know, they were starting a militia in, in some sense. And that's what I believe. I don't believe he was actually having sex with the kids. I do believe he was fucking everybody's wife, though. Yeah, I, I started that documentary, but I never finished. The, docu- the show's good. Order. Yeah, yeah the show's I never good. finished it, though. I didn't know that they accused him <clears> of fucking the kids, though. And I wonder if this is the same. There is another family. I don't know if it's this one. It may be. Um, so I got one, bro, that I, I don't think we've done. If you want me okay, to Okay, well, let me finish the Jamesons and uh, fucking goddamn uh, Cheryl and Liang and daughter Madison Stormy Star Jameson. <laughs> Stormy Star uh, uh, Madison Stormy Star Dave, Jameson. <laughs> um, but, like, there is there is a missing case of these people. They go missing, and there's, like, video footage of them, like, packing their fucking car in like a trance i don't know if it's this one i don't think it is oh, fuck. and they're like they're like in a trance like they're not talking to each other they're just walking by each other literally packing a car and there's like theories about aliens to do with this one and they just fucking they're they leave and then they're found fucking like dead in like the forest um Holy i can't shit. remember what case this was but i remember looking it up a while a long time ago but and they just the video footage was weird because it was like from their home camera for their security system and they're like just methodically packing bags and it's like zoned out and nobody's talking to each other it's just it's very strange uh so there's all these theories you know do they dr- drug deal gone bad did they join a cult uh even the possibility of the family being driven crazy by ghosts haunting their house who knows spooky spooky faking uh four years after the discovery of the truck two hunters found skeletal remains of the jameson family less than three miles away from their vehicle that had been parked. No cause of death has been determined due to the state of the decomposing bodies. And this sounds like that fucking family. I'm pretty sure this might even be it, uh, where they just, there was video footage of them leaving and shit. I never heard of that. So weird. The Jameson fucking, (laughs) the Jameson's missing, bro. They're missing. Nobody knows where the Jamesons are. Yeah. you name your kid Madison, Stormy, whatever the fuck that bitch's name is, you're, you have problems. You stop, stop smoking meth in a trailer. You know, get clean, help everybody. Wait, did you say Madison? My friend's daughter's name Madison. He doesn't speak No, math. her name is fucking Madison Stormy Star Jameson. Okay, if you name your kid <laughs> Madison Stormy Star David Jameson, then you got fucking issues. All right, what's your fucking mystery? Mysteries of history. <laughs> so the severed feet mystery. Have we talked about that shit? Actually, a Fuck. long time ago. 
Fuck you, you. We're still going to all, all, all the feet wash you up on shore? <laughs> yeah. In it's Vancouver. Fun. You know what's, know what's crazy? You're hearkening back to the very first episode. The first time we ever talked about that was on the very first episode of Strange Brew Podcast. Seriously? Yeah. Literally the very first episode. Holy fuck. That's crazy. That's a throwback. Then the Vancouver police identified one foot. They found a bunch of feet floating up on shore and some of them were still in their boots and stuff. Yeah, I, I can. So what, what was that? So I knew you were talking about that family, like in a trans like, and I meant to say something. I don't know if you've seen that, that, you know, the MK ultra videos that go around of like celebrities yeah. where they fucking like freak out and like, just like, oh, oh. yeah, Johnny Depp or fucking Harry Clinton when she's like, yeah, yeah. We, <laughs> oh, like that, like fucking <laughs> R2D2 or some shit. There was one of of Cardi B. Have you seen the one with Cardi B? Most likely, I've seen. Where them she's all. like, and then like the guy's like trying to break down like there's something. Or Eminem. Eminem's like during a football game. He's like this. Really? Yeah, he's Eminem's a fucking clone. Billy you will never. All, fucking believe you think it. all of celebrities are under MK Ultra? I think a major uh, a majority of them are. I do think that like Johnny Depp says weird stuff. People don't want to believe that far fetched shit. And Anton. Shout out Anton, Anton, Anton LaVey, uh, fucking Antonio Banderas. Uh, he's more on the skeptical side, the same as Billy, uh, same as my buddy that I work with that's been on the podcast. Um, I'm more of like, man, it's fucking strange, bro. Why are these all these celebrities like just staring off in the fucking space and all of a sudden they switch back on? And then why do these people have handlers that are always with them? There's a bunch of fucking very strange shit when it comes to celebrities, man. Yeah. There was a movie I watched recently on Netflix about the MK Ultra. I don't know if you if you came across it. It's uh, I forgot the name of it. Let's see how I can find it. Anyways, yeah, I was gonna say that one. So it's fucking weird. On the <laughs> night of January twentieth, nineteen ninety eight, uh, Stephanie Crow, a twelve year old girl from uh, the, in California, was stabbed eight times in her bed by an unknown assailant. When police arrived, they noted there was no sign of forced entry in the home, but there was also no knives matching the murder weapon anywhere. Initially, they believed Stephanie's 14-year-old brother killed her, but after performing an interrogation without either parents or authority present, which is completely illegal, you fucking crooked-ass cops, the entire thing was thrown out because obviously... It, he would, they felt that he definitely didn't do it after Ill illegally interrogating him. Uh, after being declared um, factually innocent over a decade later, the police turned their investigation towards a schizophrenic, transient man. I almost thought I said tranny, and I was like, <laughs> no, nope, can't say that. Um, no, he's a transient man, so he's kind of homeless, who uh, may have been seen in the neighborhood on the night of Stephanie's death. He was later tried and found to be not guilty. And they still don't know who the fuck did this murder of this little girl. And they had no evidence to go off of because a lot of times uh, police are fucking lazy. Yeah. Canadian I mean, they're, cops they're, are the fucking worst, dude. They're human, bro. So, like, imagine. I think it's the dumbest shit where you have to get paid that we have to pay people in society to solve other fucked up shit some people, people are good at it and they, they they put their foot down they, they want to solve them but if you, if you look at a lot of canadian true crime a lot of them were just fucking lazy and really didn't care and it's yeah. just like i just want to get this paperwork done so i go home to my wife yeah. they didn't have the thrill of their boots to the ground like i'm gonna find this fucking well, it's not dude. like csi miami bro so and the no. movie that i was talking about bro is hypnotic i don't know if you've seen it on no. netflix Definitely but it's got to do with with MK Ultra and mind control and stuff like that, which I believe, bro. Have you ever been hypnotized? I think you did tell me, right? I he tried. I was at an alien UFO conference, um, <laughs> and uh, the guy the guy tried. And, you should but go I was, to one of those. Bro. I was stoned, and uh, it didn't work. It just made me feel really relaxed. But I met his son the year after, and it was slow. The son was like a psychic. The dad's a fucking hypnotherapist, and the son's a psychic. And he, he said shit that me and Chelsea can't explain. Stuff that he wouldn't have been able to know. And like he's even like, which is, this is not one of them, but like it's it's close. Because I was like, how the fuck would you know that? He's like, you ever get a feeling on the back of your head, like a vibration? 
Yeah. And Chelsea's like, yeah. And I was like, cause I, I was like, yeah, I do. Cause Chelsea like remembers you. I always say like, I get, I get certain feelings. It's almost like your chakras or fucking spiritual shit where you feel like, you know, when you listen to a song and it gives you fucking chills. Yeah. It's almost like that, but it's like in a certain spot in the back of my head. And he's like, that's one of your guides. And I was like, yeah. And he's like, yeah, it's a monkey. And I was like, what? He's like, yeah, it's a monkey. It, it matches your personality. And he sometimes he just touches your head if he wants you to know something or to clue into something. And I was like, weird. And then I just think about like that I have had an addictive personality. Like I've smoked cigarettes. I've done drugs. Um, even though I've quit and been able to get off certain things, I do have an addictive personality. So it kind of makes sense that I would have a guide that is I'm the monkey. same way, bro. I have an addictive. I don't do drugs, but. Uh... You, if you got hooked to it, that could happen. Yeah, so... So, yeah, uh, next case? Well, I was going to say that I would have been like, your spirit animals, uh, it's a female dog. W why? Oh, because you're a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. In 1959, the Cemetery of Newmark, New Jersey, church dated back to the 1600s, was paved over in order to make a parking lot for the New Jersey Devils Hockey Arena. Of course it was. When uh, the lot was excavated by a group of researchers, they discovered two iron sarcophaguses. Sarcophagi. Body bag with Whoops, wrong one. <laughs> uh, it's not the right one either. It does, doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so they, they found uh they found evil sarco uh, the evil sarco they found sarcophaguses. Um, you know, so and it, which is fucking creepy. And you know, you know, sometimes sometimes. That is better. Sometimes that is better. Uh, but uh, <laughs> the, they, the, the, the sarcophagi were holding the remains of bodies dating back to around 18, the 1850s. What the fuck? Isn't that weird? And the church dated back to the 1600s. So if that's not weird enough, the bodies were nowhere near each other. Which means they were probably two people in Newmark with enough dough to spend on being buried like pharaohs in an iron sarcophagi. Bro, if I had the if I had the bread to do that, I would fucking pick to get buried. Yeah, my uh, I've said that uh, you know, the many ways. I want to be cremated though. We've talked about that. I want to die like a, a Viking. Fucking send me out to sea and fling arrows at my uh, my flaming my corpse. Just, just light me out with gasoline. Push Bro, me. Oh, you're out so to the small. Ocean. They're not gonna be able to hit the fucking little raft you're on. Well, I'm fat enough. They'll fucking hit me. No, but and, like, bro, he's not tall enough. It needs to be longer. <laughs> and um, or you know, a second one would be like if I was um, if I guess if I was like more built and. In uh, good looking, like a what's that guy named Cavill? Like Henry, Henry yeah. Cavill. Um, no, Henry Cavill, Superman. I want to be thrown out of a fucking plane in a Superman costume. Then everyone would be like, "Oh shit, they're Superman!" And then it's like, "Oh, he, Superman died." What and my third one fuck? is that'd be so I fucked up, bro. <laughs> then you see a little kid. Oh my god, look, man! Why isn't he stopping? Boom! Just straight <laughs> into the ground. That'd be crazy. Is that well, legal? Can you do that? No, no, Fish definitely not. Yeah, uh, you could probably pay someone <laughs> to do it. But it's just like uh when it's almost like when um who is that uh fucking um that wrestler? Oh, what's his name? It's gonna bug me. Owen Hart? Yeah, I think it was Owen Hart. And Wally fucking murdered his entire Did you get, have yeah. you guys ever covered that case? No, if you'd like to get into Man, that, let's fucking do it, bro. That fucking episode is fucked, dude. It's Fuck. Chris Benoit. Yeah, we could get into Chris Benoit in the future. That's definitely on the docket. Right there. There's that some down. conspiracy theories behind that shit, bro. Shit's fucking deep, bro. Yeah. And so, so you just like almost like uh, Owen Hart. Owen Hart was supposed to come down on this thing uh, during a wrestling match. He was supposed to be like kind of pulled down. He's wearing this like creepy, like fucking, you know, overcoat looking like a dead guy. And they didn't rig it right. So all of a sudden oh, he comes shit. down, it goes faster, goes faster. He fucking launches. And they used to have this on video on YouTube, and I can't find it now because obviously YouTube is a bunch of pussies and people report everything. And he just fucking smokes the ground. And there's literally like kids all like and he died right there. Around, right, yeah, instantly was dead. And there's kids, there's thousands of people there watching. Holy fucked fuck, up. Dude, and my yes, my third option to die is, and I've said this literally since I was like 15 or 16, I would love to be buried like a pharaoh. Just fucking put me in a sarcophagus, wrap me up like a mummy and fucking throw me in a sarcophagus and bury me. And then someone else can find me later and put me in this position. 
like holding on my dick. It's like that one meme. It's like I want to be cremated and put into a chili and have my girl eat it so I can tear that ass up one more time. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking stupid. <laughs> but fuck. So yeah, they they you know the researchers have yet to determine the identities of either body, but that's fucking crazy. They obviously had enough dough. But like, man, in the 1850s, like, can you just bury me like a mummy? I know we're, we start discovering those guys over there because they were doing that during this time, excavate, excavating like um, ruins and, and, you know, pyramids and stuff like that. One guy hears about it fucking in New Jersey. And it's like, yeah, bro, can legally. If you if you have a body of a loved one, what's stopping you from like keeping fucking it? No, no, not fucking it, bro. But keeping it around, like, no, is that against there, the law? No, there's stories of that. We when we talked about um, living with the dead, part of our body bag material um, episodes. Me and Billy talked about that. We're fucking. Oh, we talked about a bunch of cases of people that just literally live with like dead mother, just didn't get around to putting her in the ground and just hung out with her. One lady was blind in a hoarder. And she didn't even know her son oh, was living with her so dead. Fucked, bro. Yeah, that her son was so... dead in bed for years, and she was a blind. He hoarder. was covered with stuff, right? Yeah, she just keeps like throwing shit oh, on top of him. Fuck, and realize dude. it, and then, that is then so somebody messed found up, it. Bro. Uh, yeah, I found it years later. Um, but this is just funny. These guys were like, you know what? I want to go out like that, and their kids are like, but daddy, we got no money. Like, if you do this, I why well, I don't get an inheritance. He's like, fuck you. I yeah. want to be buried like a fucking pharaoh. Fucking them <laughs> out. <laughs> so, um, Teos and uh, what's NM? You know the states better than I do. NM, New Mexico. Are you, Am, oh fucking, yeah. Are you oh, fucking yeah. retarded, bro? New Mexico. That would. That's that's. Uh, our things are easy, like ONT Ontario. It's, just, it's called Scatch. It's like Saskatchewan. Uh, so, <laughs> isn't the only place uh, where a mysterious hum a hum has been heard? Which I've we actually talked about this in the original episode that people were hearing in the very first episode of Strange Brew. We heard like there was all these cases of people hearing like. And if you look up um, Heaven's Trumpets or Mysterious Humming, yeah, I've heard about that. And there's video footage all around the world of people like hearing the same shit. It's fucking strange, bro. If I had uh, the sound, if I had the sound effect, I would uh, throw it up. But people look into that. It's it's quite strange. So I'll continue um, with that. I'm gonna add something at the end. Yeah, but uh, usually when two percent of people in any given hum area can hear the mysterious sounds only a few people but i've seen video footage all around the world of people hearing the same humming sounds and it's quite strange um so only some of them actually hear the humming sounds but after setting up equipment in their homes of uh, those people who reported to hear the sound researchers found that there were multiple hums on various frequencies theories about what can cause the hum from extraterrestrials to paranormal activity and possibly like you said, CIA mind control experiments. <laughs> you got to always have those those uh, the experiments, bro. So what year is that from? Uh, actually, do not have the year for some reason. So. But like I, just, I said, the hums have been recorded all over the fucking earth. And if you look at mysterious humming or mysterious uh, frequencies and people, there's and most of them are at spots where the earth's um polarity get, gets yeah. a little wonky and at least one person has committed suicide after listening to the hum non-stop which oh, i understand fuck. it gets annoying so and like, i can't stand this anymore but they all over the world people have heard this shit man we listen we literally talked about it on the first episode ever strange this is stuff. from tuesday october 12 2021 strange radio waves coming from the heart of the milky way stump scientist so oh, yeah, apparently I've heard about that shit. Oh, yeah, I've heard about they have, before, have detected yeah. an unusual radio waves coming from the center of the Milky Way. The energy signal is unlike any phenomenon studied before and could suggest phenomenon. a previously unknown stellar object. So all these things that are coming to light, which they're dropping like little nuggets of truth yes. here and there. It's shit, shit that, there. We, that we've known about since before. Like the, the article that just came out like two, three weeks ago. Oh, there's a there's a possibility for another Earth inside our Earth. It's like, bruh, Edmund Haley. In the yeah. year fucking fourteen whatever or fifteen hundreds was talking about this shit. Goddamn, goddamn, Admiral Kaka went down yeah, there. Yeah, Admiral He's Bird like, was talking about this shit. Dude, it's fucking wild. He fucking went down there and supposedly battled Nazis. Uh, check out. Yeah, the bro. One Hollywood of the episode. one of the I seen this thing on TikTok the other day. Uh, last night, I think the day before, there was this chick talking about the. Uh, and I don't know if you sent it to me or if I, it came up on my for you page, but she was talking about this theory. 
which the theory is that we're not actually on Earth. We're actually on Mars. Have you heard of that one? That would be fucked up, man. Because you know, you know uh, Corey Good and what's the other guy's name? The one that he did my the... Oh, boy, David Wilcock, bro. My boy. Yeah, Corey Good and, and David Wilcock. When he talks about that, they took him to the fucking moon to yep. sign a contract. <laughs> yeah. Hey, the My Lab projects. I would like to get in the My Lab projects one day. So the girl was saying that yeah, they do. The sex trafficking is intergalactic and like interstellar, that. and they're taking kids to the moon to fucking for this big sex ring. So I'm honestly, like, honestly, as bro. far fetched as that sounds, I could see it happening. Bro. Need reptilians, bro. See I need you like a, you stack spaghetti. So- <laughs> I need like a fucking a reptilian sound effect. I'm gonna I'm gonna find a fucking lizard yeah, fuck person it, or dude. some shit. But in, uh, I'm like a prickly pear. I'm like a prickly pear. <laughs> uh, in 1922, the bodies of R- Reverend Edward Wheeler Hall and Eleanor Reinhardt Mills, a choir singer and um, a parishioner at the Reverend's Church, were found beneath a crab apple tree in Somerset Country, New Jersey. You know what? A lot of these mysteries have came from New Jersey. Like, literally, like, Three out of the fucking whatever seven I have. Damn. Fucking New Jersey. Three or four, actually. New Jersey's got some wild shit going on there, bro. New Jersey, New Jersey Devil, which I like. We talk about him on Strange Monsters, but I want to get into like maybe we could talk about the New Jersey Devil because it goes deep. I think and we I think- should go to that Mothman. I, I, I actually looked up to go to that Mothman convention this year, but they canceled it because of COVID. Of course. And I don't want to. F- I can't go anywhere anyway. Oh, that's right. You guys are in Nazi thing. Germany right now. Literally, they both have been shot in the head, and the minister's dead hand was placed beneath the choir singer's shoulder and neck, which is weird. Yeah, uh, when they dug them up, I thought it'd be funny if he had his like hand. It was fucking. Ass. It was fucking. <laughs> the area around the bodies was strewn with love notes written by married Mrs. Mills, and they uh, and also the married preacher. So what it sounds like, maybe. Um, is that the, the 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 husband and the wife of these two people find out they were both cheating with each other, got together and was like, you kill him, I kill him, and we'll put him in a grave and we'll fucking make him hold each other's hands. And then when people find, be like, they fucked up because they yeah. were both cheaters and they were both married. Uh, the only right. witnesses to this mysterious murder was Jane Gibson, a woman locally known as the pig woman. <laughs> Gibson was a, a pig farmer. Pig woman. I know, and and testified, and her and her testimony led to the arrest and trial of Hall's wife for the crimes, cause you know he found out he was a cheating bastard, and uh, but she didn't give such a cruel nickname without a reason. People around town thought she was crazy, and particularly she was known to tell tall tales. I don't know why they call her the pig woman. Maybe they found her like rolling around with the Maybe pigs she in the was mud. fucking fat, bro. Who the fuck knows? Well, Back this... then they stuck to good old insults. Hey, you're a fucking pig, bro. Oh, yep. okay. You she like she likes dancing around with the pig in the pig's mud naked and nobody right. knows why, but right. adding a little extra layer of strange to this story is the fact that Gibson was dying of cancer during the proceedings. And every day she would be wheeled into the courtroom on a hospital bed to tell her story while her 76 year old mother sat in the front row whispering she's a liar she's a liar like her daughter's telling this story while her mother's in the front row being like she's lying don't listen to her she's like whispering to the jury the whole time uh because of gibson's shaky story the reverend's wife was cleared of all charges and the murders of edward wheeler hall and eleanor mills remain unsolved yeah they definitely were fucking and the wife definitely uh Got her revenge. And that's my opinion. <laughs> Got one more on the docket for tonight's Strange Mysteries. Uh, Anna Anna Christian Waters was, was five years old when she disappeared uh, from Pumis, Pur, Pumissima, Pumissima Canyon. <laughs> Stupid ass she fucking fucking name. learned to fucking... Pre, Prurissimia. Pronounce shit, bro. I'm never going to. It's only going to get worse uh, as I get older. A rural, a rural area near Half Moon Bay in California. Also, California is the stupidest fucking name for cities, just so everyone's aware. One day after school, Walter's um, mother, Walter's after school, Walter's mother heard her daughter go outside and begin talking to someone. Although she can't remember who, 
when she went in to check on the girl, she was gone. One theory is that Anna accidentally fell into a creek near her house and drowned. Yeah, she's talking to some guy, someone, and then she just she or disappears. Something. And then yeah, and then she fallen into a creek. But Anna's mother believes that the girl's biological father had something to do with her disappearance. He was diagnosed as a paranoid schizophrenic oh, soon soon after Anna's birth and began living with a man who called himself George Brody. Brody was obsessed with Anna and believed she was the reincarnation of a woman that he once lived with. So this guy's like, you know what? You remind me of Cindy. Cindy looked like you, sounds like you. She was just about 30 years older, maybe. Maybe. Maybe you're the reincarnation because I killed her and she's still in my basement. So I, I'm constantly thinking about Isn't her. Isn't that like with William Shakespeare? The guy yeah, that's, that's with Anne Hathaway? Yeah. And his wife was his his wife's name was Anne Hathaway, I think, and he looks like fucking all that shit, man. If you saw those pictures of celebrities and shit, that like yeah, there's like so many doppelgangers. There's one of Nicolas Cage, bro. There's all yeah. these, and that's why people think maybe they're cloned. Who knows? Or no, or it's just they the bloodline, just, bro. Yeah, it's they reincarnate constantly, but also yeah. sometimes bloodlines get mucky and they don't look the same. Like I would like to see my like great 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 bloodline. great grandfather. Yeah. And see what the fuck he looked like, because I don't. What think What the fuck like happened him. to you, bro? You just got like fucking discombobulated. I know, man. I think it's who knows. Maybe there's some incest somewhere down the line. <laughs> um, but uh, so Brody, yeah, you obsessed. He thought that she was the reincarnation of the woman he once lived with, but nothing has ever been proven. Although Anna was never even fucking found, so they don't even know where their body is. So this guy was kept it and was like turned into a doll or something. Be like, no one. Now you're the new lady I live with. <laughs> You know what's crazy to me is that no matter like no matter where we are, especially like in the wilderness, how many bodies we probably walk past by, or or yeah. even burial grounds that we pass like we walk on that we don't know about. You know, I what keep I mean? saying, man, the world's a graveyard. The entire world is a graveyard. Yeah. that's my saying because it literally we is. just keep stacking shit. Like right now, like when they take your trash, they don't do anything. Where they just fucking put it somewhere on it's just also on top crazy. of some more trash. You know, we should just we should have a massive catapult and we should just. Fling it right at the sun. I don't give a shit what happens to the sun, whatever. <laughs> um, it'll just burn up in the atmosphere. Just get this yeah. massive catapult that has like the, the yeah. ferocity to just like boom and just fucking flies at the sun. I think it would disintegrate sun. before it even got to outer space, exactly. which is fine. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? And then aliens bitching. You know how many satellites we have around the earth at one point? Yeah, there's time? a lot of space junk right now, dude. Yeah. If you That's see, like, there's like, there's like a, you can see like a map. Of the satellites in space junk, they can track. Uh, who knows if NASA's lying? Because the course of flat earthers, NASA never tells anything. It's never a yeah. straight answer. They're yeah. never going to tell us everything, but I do not believe the fucking Earth is flat. I don't um, think so either. But supposedly you can see the satellites around Earth, and it's like millions. It yeah, looks bro. fucking crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. It's fucking strange. It's well, fun. Uh, that was a strange episode, that's for sure. I think that was a fun. Yeah. Oh, weird, weird cases. Yeah, it's, I find it hilarious that we fucking covered some of the ones that I was about to say. <laughs> yep. That's sh- bro, we've easily, done this man. almost for, well, it's going to be two years soon in April, bro. Yeah. Fucking crazy. Crazy, man. Time flies. When I remember when I first wanted to be on your show, you didn't even fucking want me on your show, bro. No, I did. What are you talking about, bro? Remember, we could never figure you like, I don't know how to do remote fucking. Oh, yeah, because I wasn't. I, I didn't. I didn't know uh, at the time. I, I don't know how to do it, man. I didn't know how to understand. I didn't know how to understand to get someone in that I, I had to research it literally but okay what could i use and we use like zoom or some shit at the beginning skype i think i don't fucking yeah, remember bro. Looked, some yeah. stupid shit <laughs> and then we had to use the recording from them so go back and listen to the bigfoot episode bigfoot and his cousins that, that was, was the like very the first... first one holy yep. shit bro fucking bro so woman. when are you gonna have your girlfriend on and your mom dude those are the I two know. Fucking episodes! I'm so excited for. My mom will probably be sooner than my girlfriend. Uh, I'll have well, to. Well, your mom is so down to call my podcast. Yeah, I'll have to get my girlfriend drunk and try to convince her. I, I've I've tried to talk her into it, but like, you know what? We could do a Patreon or like a side series. Is she where, is she like shy or what? Yeah, essentially she just doesn't. Because my girl's hear. been on my podcast. Yeah, she just essentially fuck. doesn't like. I don't know. She doesn't want to hear her voice. I don't fucking know. She talks women, nice women are strange, right? So like, but uh, no, I've tried to convince her because we have good rapport when we're like drinking and stuff like that and um she's giving me you think that's stuff. why anton's oh, gay like, i'm talking because juan wants to see an episode with my mom and an episode with you so 
I know I don't want you on the same one as my mom. That would be fucking a shit show. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, I just you know she's not used to hearing herself and stuff like that. I just I I think yeah. she's you know people are people, and she's very my her friend's more of like a more or less an introvert to an extent. She's not really, but she is, and I'm more of an extrovert where I don't give a fucking shit. Like uh, if I'm just jamming in the car, she's like it's embarrassed. I'm like I just want to do it more. Yeah, I just I don't give. I've never. Well, she's fucked because she's with you, bro. So yeah, I know, and that's why I'm like, well, I'm here for a reason. I'm here to break you out of that shell because essentially, like, I don't give a shit what anyone thinks at all. I don't give a fuck what anyone thinks about me, my opinions, what I look like, who I am, nothing. Because that's the like my one of my favorite David I quotes uh, quotes are than reptilians uh, is that uh, the the biggest prison, the prison of fear that people can live in, is the fear of what other people think. Yeah, yeah, I love I that. Give quote. two shits, bro. Yeah, fuck Shit. people. Anyways, that's a, that was a, a fun one, man. Fuck yeah, because I'm looking forward to. So we're probably gonna get into some crazy shit next time. We'll see. We we have talks to travel back in time and do a, a historical episode, which we've done before. But uh, we'll see if it comes up. As but we will be doing this. So we're not gonna show it out just yet. But uh, essentially, me and Juan will be diving back into some historical episodes because it is a lot of fun and it's fucked. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So. Uh... Until until next time, I guess. Follow me yep. on social media at the Juan Juan Podcast, the Juan Juan Podcast dot com, and yep. yeah, uh, www.strangerpodcast.com. Get yourself some fucking merch. I got Stay Strange, Not Asleep. Uh, check out that shirt. We got a lot of good merch on the site. Uh, remember to follow me on Rizzle at Strange Room Podcast, <laughs> at Clapper at Strange Room Podcast, <laughs> at TikTok at Strange Room Podcast, at Instagram. Fucking follow us on Instagram. Beat that shit up at Strange Room Podcast. Uh, Jesus, cat. All right, my cat's telling me to stop. She's meowing at me. It's uh, that goddamn cat. <laughs> <laughs> literally, literally. All right, well, um, yeah, till, till next time on Strange Wands. Later, you fuckers. <laughs> you fuckers. In the broadcast. Thank you for the one person on Twitch that watched this whole time.